Kichi the Red Panda. I am the state animal of Sikkim and welcome to my homeland. Sikkim is part of the Eastern Himalayan Biodiversity Hotspot and makes for only about 0.2% of India. Its area stretches from the low-lying river valleys of the Tista and Rangit to the high snowy mountains of the Himalayas. Amongst these snow-capped mountains stands our guardian deity, Mount Kanchenzunga. It is the third highest peak in the world and the highest in India. Members of my family are spread across the hills, in the forests of Darjeeling and Arunachal Pradesh, Achoo. as well as in the high forests of our neighboring countries, Nepal and Bhutan. I have heard that some cousins of mine are also found in southern China and northern Myanmar. <laughs> My home is blessed with the fascinating richness of flora and fauna. Almost half the number of birds that are recorded in India can be found in Sikkim. <laughs> yes, that's right! 1300 species of birds are recorded in India, of which almost 570 species can be found in Sikkim. That we also enjoy the company of 689 different species of butterflies from a total of about 1500 species found in India. This region is also home to some of the most exquisite vegetation. Plants as small as the rhododendron pumilium and trees that stand as tall as the hemlock. Stretching from the low river valleys up to the middle hills lies Sikkim's subtropical belt. This habitat has thick and dense forests that nurture immense treasures of biodiversity. Living in the lower forests of this belt are some of my feathered friends, such as the very colorful Indian bee fowl, the great hornbill with its big yellow beak, and the ancestor of the domestic chicken, the red jungle fowl. Sikkim's only bird sanctuary, the Kitam Bird Sanctuary, is located in this belt. This habitat also supports other larger animals, such as the golden jackal, who is also known as Syar in Nepali, howling away into the night. The wild boar and the barking deer also roam these forests. Here, you can spot the rock python that is known for its massive size and unmatched feeding habits. I've heard that it can eat animals as big as a deer. <coughs> Higher up in altitude is the temperate belt of Sikkim. And this is where I live. Temperate forests are simpler in structure and support a smaller number of tree species. <sighs> Towering conifers mixed with magnificent oaks shape this beautiful forest and my family and I build our nests in these oaks. Rhododendrons are the main flowering plants found in these forests. Some grow as shrubs, while others are tall trees. 
and during their flowering season, the forests look enchanting, with shades of pink, red, and white. We have thirty-six species of rhododendrons in our forests. Ayo! <laughs> High altitude areas are also rich in medicinal plants, such as these. Oh, look! A blood vessel. This beautiful bird is the state bird of Sikkim. The musk deer. Who is famous for his musk that makes your perfume lives amongst us. The Asiatic black bear, who has become quite unpopular due to his habit of raiding farmers' fields, is also found in these forests. Uh oh, here comes the leopard. Run before she spots me. Besides, we might just run into some other members of her feline family. Climbing higher up, we reach the alpine habitat. Up here, it's windy, cold, dry, and the sunlight at these high altitudes is very strong. There are no trees in these areas, only shrubs and bushes. This is a very tough place for plants and animals to live. Plants here grow short and strong to survive in this harsh area. Dwarf rhododendrons, mosses, and lichens cover the lower shrublands, along with other pretty wild flowers. Standing up to four feet in height, the kenjo or the giant rhubarb is one of the most fascinating plants of this area. We also have many beautiful lakes. My tiny buddy, the Sikkim snow toad, is the only amphibian species found at these heights in Sikkim. Ruddy shell ducks, and black necked cranes, usually found in pairs, are the most exquisite ones. Buddhists believe that sighting of these cranes bring prosperity. High up in the alpine meadows also grows the yatsa gombo, or the caterpillar fungus. This half caterpillar, half plant is believed to have high medicinal values. Above the shrublands and meadows are the rocky cliffs and the cold desert plateau, where the elusive snow leopards roam. They have thick fur to protect them from the cold, and massive paws to help them grip the rocky terrain. It shares its habitat with Tibetan argali, Tibetan wild ass, and blue sheep. Smaller mammals such as marmots and pikas can be found living in nooks and crannies and in burrows on the ground. Also found amongst this wildlife is the lone Tibetan sand fox. So we have travelled within the small but beautiful Sikkim landscape and met some of the wonderful creatures that live here. 
Sadly, with increasing human population and developmental needs, our habitats are slowly being degraded and lost. There are forest areas that are set aside for our conservation, which are known as protected areas. Currently, Sikkim has eight protected areas that cover approximately 31% of the state's area, with the Kanchenzonga National Park spread across North and West District as the largest. Sikkim needs many eco-warriors to help conserve its natural heritage. Eco-warriors who are aware and interested to look after the state's biodiversity and help in their conservation. You can be an eco-warrior too. Just follow these simple steps. Do not kill birds or hunt animals. Do not feed them, especially monkeys on the roadside. Do not throw trash out of the vehicles. It will litter our homes. Be aware of Sikkim's natural heritage. So till next time, keep learning, keep sharing. Bye-bye. Thank you.